the broadcast is live in three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, we are live. Oh, good evening, friends. Good evening, to all. Good evening to all. So, this is Dr. Shanmu Sundaram and Dr. Satish Kumar. We uh, came here to meet you all uh, through this platform. Yeah, we want to reach you all to this platform, and uh, this is our new concept. We have conceptualized uh, as former duos. That is uh, to celebrate our friendship journey because to, from 2010, I know Dr. Sadish, and it's almost 2020 now. So 10 years yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so 10 years uh, we are in the academic field, and uh, so the former. Uh, so we uh, work on the same college same university and the same academic job and we think alike so we thought of uh, going uh, conducting a live show on this uh, so the idea of this concept idea of this live show is nothing to just speak about our journey in pharma career because uh, we are almost 25 years in this field that is from 1995 when i, I joined b form now it's 2020 so it was uh, from b form to m form then to PhD, then to the academic career as assistant professor, associate professor, professor, and now I am the director. Similarly, Dr. Satish is also for the past 26 years in this academic career. So, in order to make the people uh, to understand the, the positivity of the pharma career, because in our close relatives and close relations itself, many are not aware of what is a pharma career, what are the opportunities are there, and other things. So, our motive is to today's talk will be only uh, on our journey in the pharma field from next week onwards we'll be inviting our a lot of friends uh, to this uh, shows from different uh, fields of pharmacy so we will be also inviting a lot of youngsters and other people who has already achieved laurels in this field and who is trying to achieve laurels in this field who has a passion for the field of pharmacy and so that uh, we'll be having a very good uh, Rapport to the public. So, just our concept is to talk to the public and not only to the pharma people, our main concept is to talk to the public and uh, to create an awareness about the various aspects and career of pharmacy. Now, I give over to Dr. Satish to say a few words, then we'll be talking our journey in pharma. Hi, hi, everybody. Uh, it was, uh, yeah thought provoking uh, thing that uh, when we uh, when you are talking about uh, our uh, personal career uh, we share a lot of things i myself and dr shanmu sundaram were uh, speaking about a lot of things uh, which come across our life and how our life had uh, changed uh, and how we are now from where we came and uh, how we are now so when we are talking about it uh, we thought uh, that uh, why we should not uh, speak uh, the same thing to uh, our uh, fellow colleagues and uh, other uh, people uh, who are our uh, close friends in the Facebook and other uh, social media. So uh, in this uh, provoked us to uh, come as a live uh, with a live program to all of you. And uh, uh, as he told already, uh, we are celebrating a decade of friendship uh, uh, in Wales University together. As uh, when I joined in 2010 of uh, June, uh, uh, he's also working in the Wales uh, for uh, previously uh, 10 years back itself. So uh, we together uh, worked for 10 years and uh, our friendship uh, had uh, grown a lot, both in the personal aspect as well as in the professional aspect. So uh, we thought that uh, we two, uh, together can uh, launch a program uh, as a former duos as uh, sir uh, clearly uh, indicated in the invitation also he had uh, mentioned that pharma duos so that uh, term coins uh, and uh, it, uh, it fits very well uh, for this program okay so uh, in this program as uh, he already told mentioned that uh, we are going to talk about uh, a little bit about our personal uh, uh, growth as well as the as, as well as the professional aspects of our uh, career these two things uh, we are taking uh, as a uh, main frame uh, line of this uh, program. And also we want to uh, sensitize, sensitize our uh, friends who are on the uh, Facebook and other platforms 
what this pharmacy is about and how this uh, career uh, can change their life because uh, uh, now many uh, in many families there are uh, students who are uh, completing 10th and uh, 11th or plus 2 so they they may also think uh, what what sort of uh, scope are there in this uh, pharmacy profession so that uh, they can also understand how uh, we came and how they can also uh, grow up in their life with uh, pharmacy as a profession so uh, to start with uh, dr shanmu sundaram please uh, uh, say about your childhood and how you uh, proceeded with your uh, school life to uh, b pharm and that's because it's a turning point no so please yes. uh, you first elaborate about that so it was a great opportunity to talk in public about the career how i started into b pharm because uh, it's i cannot directly start from my plus 2 i had to go rewind little back to 10th actually because uh, i had a very good, in 10th i had a very good biology teacher so who was uh, given me a very good uh, taken based on the interest he used to take class i was attracted towards biology that is how i gained interest in biology actually so after gaining biology in 10th then i selected the group in plus 1 plus 2 with the concept of both mathematics with biology but that is botany zoology that time it was uh, max physics chemistry and biology then uh, i have even i was in plus 1 and plus 2 my physics teacher was a very good inspiration for me to pursue more of science and uh, i also very much got attracted to the live experiments in zoology and botany so which helped me to totally both physics botany and uh, zoology by concepts and uh, i personally say chemistry is my area because i am a specialist in m pharm also i have done my specialization in pharmaceutical chemistry because why i like chemistry is but many people uh, will be thinking chemistry is similar to mathematics or something where we have to study a lot of equations similar to max equations and the other things many may be finding it difficult though actually i am openly i'll say i'm little bit weaker in max but very good in chemistry why because i always correlate chemistry with uh, my cooking because i am a very good cook many of my friends know that because i in already i have posted many videos recipes and everything in my facebook also and my very good close friends and my colleagues know me about my cooking concept because whatever we do in chemistry we mix different uh, reagents and solvents and we find out with the different product at the same time when we do what i say is uh, when you do about uh, in the chemistry lab if you mix in a different proportions every day will be getting a different output of the product similarly in cooking if we take a very simple recipe as sambar every day we cannot do the same uh, taste of sambar we'll be mixing it up with uh, the same ingredients only but the ratio proportion everything will change and the taste of sambar will be totally different on different days so always i correlate chemistry with my cooking and uh, so uh, i tried different recipes how i differ and uh, try different chemical products similarly i'll be trying a different recipes so this is my one of my hobbies in side by side so all these were having a thought of going into a, a profession with health profession with uh, involves lot of biology instead of directly going for the bsc zoology or bsc botany or something i want to my aim was always to enter into a professional course not directly uh, i never dreamt of being a doctor or a, a dentist or something like that i want to be in a health care professional always but uh, initially i don't know what is a b pharm and other things because uh, when i completed my plus 2 my uh, cut off mark was very good and uh, what was that was uh, i was eligible for a bds actually but i am not uh, very comfortable with bds uh, uh, that time so i was talking to my father my father suddenly uh, because that time now also many people are not aware of what is b pharm m pharm and something that time all that time you think about 25 years back so everyone will be 25 years back everyone knows about b pharm not the b pharm concept if i go and say spell out b pharm to someone similarly they ask you are doing b com like that they'll be spelling out so this this is not only in my uh, academic uh, sorry in my school days i faced college days when i come to my marriage proposal also when my father used to say my son is a b pharm professional he would say okay b pharm whether he has done ca 
so like that everyone will call it b farm with b com only not with uh, because they are not aware of a b farm degree much so th the thought of the this particular live chat show also to familiarize what is a pharmacy what is b farm what is b farm differentiate between b farm m farm and so on how can your career will be like that so my because uh, i was totally uh, not uh, comfortable with engineering concept in after my plus 2 my i told my father please don't put me in uh, engineering stream though my cutoff was very good for engineering uh, for even in uh, those days uh, getting into an university and other things i was eligible but my father was also been telling me whether you go into an university no one many will not be getting this opportunity but, but i was strictly told my father no you don't please drop me into any of the engineering streams you drop me in any of the Thing whatever I am eligible, so my cutter was not good enough for the uh, doctor. It was good enough for the dentist, but I was not interested for dentist. Then my myself and my doctor was uh, sorry. My father was started exploring what will be the other opportunities. Suddenly, uh, my professor, Doctor Vengatraman, who was my PhD guy, he was a very good friend of my father. Ten years, uh, uh, almost uh, thirty to forty years back, it's when my father because he was my. My father was a librarian in uh, PGIBMS Institute, and sir was Venkatraman sir was working as a pharmacologist there. So you, they, my father and sir used to have a cup of coffee, and uh, they used to share uh, evenings in the tea shops. Suddenly, my father asked the uh, professor, "My son is uh, telling you doesn't want to study BDS and he wants to study something in uh, healthcare professional. Can you suggest what it is?" That time, Professor Dr. Venkatraman suggested that my daughter studied B-Pharm in the uh, CL Bait Meta College, and she is doing fine. If you want, you tell tell her son, tell your son to talk to my daughter. He she will give you idea what is B-Pharm because I also doesn't know what is B-Pharm and other things. Then uh, that night itself, my father came here and told my professor told this is uh, another opportunity. Yeah, either you have to go for B-Pharm or B BPT was another option. So. And one of the professor's daughter will explain you what is B farm. That time now, like nowadays, we cannot connect immediately to mobile and other things to a person and talk, and we cannot chat or WhatsApp or do do your calls and something like this. So, I was uh, having a landline number, and my professor, my father tried a landline call to the uh, professor Venkatraman's daughter, and uh, she explained me very. Briefly and easily and politely about the college, about the course, what I will be studying for next. Uh, for, because that was a four years course, similar to B Pharm was a four years course, and everyone may not be aware on those times. And she was explaining me it's a four years course, and she told me there was a uh, things like this. I asked only one question to her: Aka, what it is? Whether uh, uh, there is a max is there? She said max is there. Then I asked: Oh, then it's very difficult for me. No, no, no. She said it will be easier than plus two max. It will be uh, almost range of ten or tenth or eleventh only. It's a type of a bridge concept. So you'll be having only a. Uh, it's very easy to only arithmetic, uh, algebra, and trigonometry, and basics of max will be there. Only to it is not equivalent to a uh, engineering max. So that too, uh, only a single paper will be there. So you need not worry about it. Then okay, I got convinced by a thing. Then. Uh, as usual, I and my myself, my father went applied for counselling and a lot of other processes we went through. Initially, I got my B form in JSS actually. First counselling, I got it in JSS. My father was very happy and he was on to pay the fees to J uh, everything. But uh, from that uh, counselling point, my father called my grandma and said he was a uh, uh, our son Shanmu Sundar has got the Sundar has got the seat in JSS in Uti. And since I am a only child, my suddenly what happened? My grandma told, uh, "No, no, no! Don't put him, take him away from me, and don't put him in some other place, because uh, you put him in Chennai itself. We find a college in Chennai." So actually, my parents, uh, my father and my grandma, my, um, because my father was a military man, already my uh, father was my father's schooling and college, everything was in Uti. So my grandma told, "No, no! Again, we need not go back to Uti. You be in uh, Chennai." You find a better college equivalent to JSS in Chennai or something, so and put him. And my suddenly my father went and requested the counselling officer. So what is the next opportunity I can get? The southern counselling officer told, "You are losing a bigger opportunity of going to JSS. Okay, you try to Seal Bait Mehta College. Then I got into Seal Bait Mehta College, and from there my journey started as a B Form student in 1995."
now it's over to dr satish to get into this thing okay it's a very uh, uh, what uh, it's uh, like going like a story uh, and i found a similarity between your uh, career uh, selection and uh, the pj president uh, dr suresh uh, both of you got uh, what is the similarity means both of you got uh, a choice of getting a bds seat but both of you had left it and uh, selected pharmacy as a profession so uh, this similarity recently when i am uh, uh, hearing the talk of uh, dr suresh uh, he told that uh, i had uh, uh, got a choice of selecting a, uh, a bds uh, seat but i uh, don't want it i purposely selected uh, this b farm course and uh, i so i got the seat of a bds seat by uh, but i selected me better off with the bds and mds so i i matched both <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> okay so uh when uh, i want to talk about my uh, childhood uh, uh, basically i am very much interested in health sciences uh, since my early life that is in the third standard and fourth standard uh, by knowingly or unknowingly uh, when i'm playing with my friends i used to prepare some herbal uh, uh, formulations you don't know it's i, I can't say it as formulations taking some hibiscus leaf and tulsi leaf and i will uh, uh, cut it and uh, just uh, grind it and uh, give to my friends and uh, you are having some uh, disease stuff some in the play uh, time i used to prepare like this so i don't know that it is uh, going to affect my life like this okay after uh, uh, my 10th standard and 11th standard again i in the 10th standard as uh, everybody uh, looks uh, i also look the max as a uh, very tough subject uh because i don't know since my early life uh, in early school life uh, my max teachers were very strict all my max teachers are very strict so i basically uh, that may be a reason why i got an uh, aversion towards mathematics and again uh, in my uh, life i don't like to muck up anything or i don't have the capability to do that so uh, even starting uh, from the studying of tables mathematics uh, tables one uh, one two are two uh, that itself uh, uh, it was very difficult for me anything understanding is easy for me but uh, 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 that is a uh, by hearting is a very difficult pause for me since my earlier life so uh, basically i had an aversion towards mathematics since my 10th standard and uh, even uh, uh, in the plus one uh, when we are going for admission with my father he told that uh, why your son is giving a good mark why he could not select uh, mathematics a lot of scope in engineering is there if you are uh, skipping this uh, mathematics subject uh, in future you cannot select uh, engineering as a stream but i very strongly told in presence of my father and that headmaster uh, no no i don't want a max group i want only science group the do botany zoology i want like that i uh, selected On my, my my father also okay accepted if it, that is your uh, choice then okay but uh, my father has a uh, intention that i should go become a doctor as everybody's father uh, my father also had an uh, intention that uh, i should become a physician because uh, the reason he is saying that uh, is uh, uh, two one is in our family there is no physician so far and the second one is uh, uh, that lot of uh, value is for there for a physician in the society so anyhow you should become a physician so uh, that was his uh, intention but uh, he is very kind enough to uh, not imposing his intention on me that was his willingness but he never forced me to uh, take a, a physician course uh, uh, you know although he is ready to pay the money i told no i don't want uh, that uh, payment seat and all i want to uh, select some health sciences course that to professional course only so that was my uh, level of thinking and by this time one of my cousin brother had a, a course in diploma in pharmacy in one of the nearby college and i used to talk with him a lot of time i spend much of my uh, free time with him uh, talking about his studies so it gave me a, a impression that that is a very good subject and it was quite interesting to know the action of the drugs that is what uh, uh still uh, my 11th standard it, that word is ringing in my mind action of drugs he used to say that we will study the action of drugs 
because I, I cannot understand that word pharmacology. He used to say like that. So uh, that uh, impressed me a lot. Oh, each um, tablet is having a different action. So uh, that uh, made me a uh, ping or uh, that uh, turned my life towards the pharmacy. And uh, my father also never said no, because I, I only voluntarily selected as a pharmacy, as a career. Not, uh, I don't, I told, very frankly, I told, I don't want MPBS, even though uh, my marks are not up to that to uh, get a free seat. My father was ready to uh, spend money on me or invest some money on me to get that uh, course. But I neglected, I told, no, pharmacy I want so that I can uh, study well. That's my, uh, uh, my liking is towards pharmacy. So he accepted and get me and uh, see it through his one of, uh, one of his uh, uh, friends uh, son was studying in a uh, college in Sivakasi. Uh, that's the uh, second time I'm hearing about that uh, place Sivakasi. First time I heard about uh, uh, crackers when purchasing crackers everybody used to say that Sivakasi is very popular. The second time for the second reason I'm hearing is that uh, there is a pharmacy college and uh, uh, it is a very good college for academics and on the point of view. So uh, my father had taken me there, uh, that the college was, uh, at that time, uh, infrastructure was not uh, that much good, but uh, all the facilities were there. Okay, so I joined there and uh, I took pharmacy as a career and studied uh, B Pharm. So this is how I entered into uh, pharmacy uh, course. So sir, uh, I told a lot about uh, my uh, schooling and uh, uh, entry into the pharmacy career. So uh, now uh, uh, Professor Shanmus Naram can uh, say something about how the experience of studying B pharmacy and M pharmacy up to PhD, uh, the study programs, uh, how uh, the period was and uh, what are the experiences uh, you come across uh, on those days. As uh, rightly pointed by Dr. Satish, his father was also not imposing him his thoughts uh, his father let him go as what he liked to be and so I think he is very successful. Similarly, this is also a thought provoking message to other parents for nowadays also and we as a parent also we have to, we should not impose any ideas or thoughts. If this uh, children has very good concept or they have their own ideas, let, let them go and uh, proceed with whatever it is. And coming to my aspect, Actually, I am uh, my father's uh, delegate darling because I never had my own uh, impressions or you know, ideas. Whatever my father, some my childhood says, you do like this, you do, you'll be better. So I used to uh, follow my father's concepts and ideas because he used my role model, he used to train me because the way he trained me, uh, only I am, uh, I have become a very good orator. That oration only made me an academician the, because Many are uh, by choice going as an, uh, not by choice going in as an academician, but I prefer to be an academician because my father used to tune me in such a way in my childhood. So, and the day when I joined B-Form, it took me a promise that uh, I should come out of this, not stopping with B-Form, that is uh, with the UG, you should come out with minimum PhD in your career, till that you don't think about your jobs and other things, I'll take care of all the other uh, financial expenses of it. Thing. So, when you enter in this B farm, you study your PG as M farm or whatever it is, then you go for a PhD. Then, finally, you come out. Then, after PhD, you think about working. So, till that, don't have a concept of going to any job. So, that was a promise my father took, and uh, I fulfilled, I hope I fulfilled this promise. And uh, actually, uh, when I entered the college in those times, uh, there were ragging was there and uh, that was not uh, very tough and all, just to have a senior intro raggings. And in those times, um, one of my seniors asked, well, why you joined this B farm? Then I told, I joined B farm uh, because I want to be an LCAP professional. And he said, okay, after B farm, what, what job you are going to do? I said, no, I'm not going to do any job because I'm going to do my PhD. He just laughed at me and said, you know, what is PhD? It's a, a very toughest thing. And uh, first you pass this B farm, then you talk, think about going to M farm, then you go to PhD. I just uh, told me it was my father's dream. I want to fulfill that dream because I don't have a uh, any separate dreams. So 
still my uh, i remember that words with my senior and when i completed also i thought of the senior when it is i had very good uh, uh, colleagues and classmates and beautiful seniors in those times we used to have a friendly chat as well as group study they used to interact with us because we don't have we never used the concept of googling something and immediately finding out we used to refer to the test books and uh, other things only and uh, in labs actually we give a lot of uh, importance to the viva of the practical exams because in those days in mgi university still i remember there will be 70 some marks for the practicals out of which you have to get minimum 35 and for 30 marks for viva separately that will be running as a separate morning from 9 to 12 and 2 to 5 9 to 5 will be a single practical exam so it will be running in three batches and uh, to, because those days no 100 seats it was only 60 seats So 2020 a batch by by name Chennai Sundaram I was in a C batch which is the most naughtiest batch of my college and still we are the naughty friends and uh, very good friends actually uh, actually because we are both naughty as well as both will be concentrating on our studies all the total C batch students are very much toppers in that particular aspect till now and they are in different powers and maybe calling one of my one few of my friends from my batchmates also for the talk show in the future. so they will also will be explain to what was that so as i told in a practical exam why why was also was given a very good uh, importance and 30 marks you had to get minimum 15 so you had to pass practical separately why was separately club together only you will be passing the exams and students were having a uh, fear not only for theory exams we have fear for the practical exams so that was the thing and uh, those days mgi university concepts are very tough that is we don't have uh, holidays in between we have four, four to five days continuous exams and uh, there was no choices actually no mcq pattern and all no choices so all those things were there so and uh, first by i was uh, still i remember one of the senior professors of the chemistry field my first uh, practical exam was a physical pharmacy exam and i was preparing quite well with the viva questions and the thing and went to the exam and but the professor simply asked me two questions uh if you take a i uh, because uh, i was good in cooking that question was uh, because no one would have faced this type of questions in the viva so only i am discussing this not a direct subject question he simply said i we take a vada um, uh, vada batter that is vada maavu eduthu nam ennaila potomna adu epdi why this adu ubbi yen varudhu i just told something he said no no physical pharmacy and that concept as a relation there is a law stating that you think and tell me i just uh, okay thought that time and then i thought i explained the principle and he was very very happy actually with the concept and uh, next question actually uh, the viva was a dual viva with my another batch classmate and the similar question he asked to the classmate that na vandu sam thoor dal that is the sambar dal what you are using thorambar pani vandu uppu thannila vechina seekana veguma normal thannila vechina seeka veguma that was the viva question in english and he had to explain in the physical pharmacy concept and you uh, he, he was also struggling and uh, as i told i am very familiar with cooking and sambar i thought i answered that uh, question very easily so next uh, and then uh, we finished this type of questions and we came out of the thing and uh, next question to my another batchmate by the same professor was we're taking an oil bath whether if you take oil bath in hot water oil will go fast or in cold water the oil will go fast and the funnily the classmate answered so i, I have not experienced uh, oil bath sir i'll take a oil bath and let you know later whether it is hot bath <laughs> or in cold so these are the childhood memories in b form and other college aspects so because uh, viva was also practical exams are also was very very important those days nowadays uh, the students are taking it lightly of the practicals and viva was but in those days the concepts were very really tough and uh, the day when i start uh, seeing my first year b form result because those days in mgi university there was a concept because we had 25 papers from first year to final year b form all the 25 papers if a student passes with the 60% marks only it will be given as a first class otherwise if you lose any paper single paper are here though you are 80% also you will be given only second class so that has lot of uh, drawbacks so every student want to study uh, well and clear all the 25 subjects are a thing so in my first year i had a five subjects 
and uh, the result was posted in India University. Actually, they were sticking the results on the notice board of the India University. And uh, my principal that time uh, he told, he called all the first year students that your results have come. You have to go to the university from college, from Sail Bay to come to college. Uh, that is to Gindi. And those days, you, now if I, if I need to travel from Torpakam to Gindi, it will take 20 minutes for me in a car or bike or something. Those days I had to catch my 21X bus or 19B bus. You had to come to some other place, then you had to go to Gindi, then you had to walk in walk from the bus stand, you had to walk inside the university and see the first year result. Because the result will come delayed to the college two or three days, then, they, then only the college will be posting the results on the notice board. So every student will be eager enough to know the result whenever it is displayed. So no online, no online results, no mobile results, WhatsApp results, nothing. So my friend and uh, four to five classmates, we ran and caught the bus and we went to uh, thing. And when I saw the notice board of the India University, almost thousand heads were seeing the no notice board. So different college students are there and uh, nearly thousand students are, I don't know how to get into it and uh, see the result. Then one of my friend, uh, Mr. Shankar, uh, because his name was uh, next to previous to my name, he saw the both results and said, "Macham, number never pass down." Okay. Then only I got some uh, relaxation. Then afterwards, I was standing there for half an hour to forty-five minutes to see whether what he said was right. Then I was able to see the notice board. Then only first that was my first year result I saw. Then our journey was in second year, third year, fourth year was very good and my college was also very uh, uh, friendly college in fact and I had to be three to four different type of principals still some of the principals we are in touch and uh, and we are going and many of my professors are very good and um, they taught me different type of uh, interest in, and especially my chemistry professors who made me to get into MPharm chemistry actually why to select a chemistry aspect. That was my thing. Then after B form, again my father told me you have to get, write a gate exam. Then you get selected to M form. Okay, but uh, actually I was not interested by gate exam. Uh, I wanted to do M form, but uh, I know very clearly that if I, those days only very few colleges in Tamil Nadu by which you can get into gate exam. But uh, most of the seats were in North India. I was hundred percent sure if I get through gate. Then I had to get a seat only in North India and uh, thing. So again, I why because I was not afraid of going to different places. I know my granny will again have a block for that. Okay, anyhow, to listen to my father's words, I just studied my gate syllabus from February 1st to February 14th was my exam. 13 days. I prepared for only exclusive for gate. And 14th, that is it's a February 14th Valentine's Day. And uh, the exam was in Anna University, and uh, I exam started at uh, ten o'clock to one o'clock. Sorry, it was from nine o'clock to twelve o'clock. And uh, every candidate will be allowed to go out of the exam hall after ninetieth minute. Ninety first minute, I came out of the exam hall. Uh, my father asked, "What? Do, why you came so early?" I said, "I answered all the questions." And that time, negative marking was not there. Luckily, I answered all the questions, and the uh, job is done. And uh, that time it was very clear that March 31st, the result will be posted in the IIT campus. And again, you had to see the no, go and see the notice board of the thing. And the, the, uh, Nick, the problem is April 1st will be our B form final year exam will start in the India University. So I I was, though I was confident I had a clear gate, but I am not confident how much score I will be getting and something like that. So in IIT, uh, March 31st, I plan not to go and see the result, whatever it is, because the results will be displayed for uh, 10 more days or 15 more days. Let me see the results later. So because uh, that, if it is anything on negative side, my mindset will be different because um, final exams is more important on April 1st. So what I did is just left it off. Suddenly I received a call from my friend on March. Actually, I forgot the result is going to come on March 31st, but my father was eager enough, but he was not telling me but my father was arranging to see the results in IIT campus through different professors and other things to get me into the gate result. But for suddenly my friend uh, called me and he said, and he said, uh, hey, well, your result is showing 95.47%. Uh, sorry, 
you just call me and said i say hey it will not be that send my son moves on the you see whether it is a proper results no no clear is a number your thing is showing i just i was calling him why you went to that uh, iid and why you saw what what was your result he said no no i was not able i was getting only 85% or something and uh, you said you didn't do exam well 98 minute you came out the all how you scored 97.54% i just told, see still i say this is the truth i don't know how i scored and uh, because that 13 days preparation helped me to score that because one of my friend also actually one of my classmate mr shankar now he is working in a very good pharma company in us uh, he was he has scored actually 99.94 and you was all india rank was 4 same classmate we two studied together my all india rank was 101 so 97.54 so that was the thing okay i took it very lightly i don't know the seriousness and importance of the gate at that time and uh, just i didn't tell him but my father saw the result to the professor same night and he came to from my office and he told child you have scored this much yeah i know i said my father was little bit angry by knowing you are not telling me the score No, no. My friend only called me and told me, and I, I couldn't believe that uh, I scored this much. And you are also confirming the same, so it should be the same. Then um, after my um, B form, then we applied for the M form through gate to different universities. And first uh, negative result only I got. Even after getting ninety seven point five four, I got a letter from BHU those times, Banaras Hindu University, stating that uh, we are taking only gate students from ninety eight percent. So that was the first letter, and it was a negative letter. I told my father, "Appa, okay, ninety-seven is also not valid. So let's forget about it." Then my father only used to apply. He applied for Naipa, then he applied for Jadavpur and different uh, universities in uh, North India. And after that, we got call letters from both Naipa and Jadavpur. What was in Naipa was uh, actually Naipa only our gate result is not sufficient. I don't know what is the current situation in Naipa. They will conduct. get uh, score will be a entrance to get into the naipa entrance exam they will conduct a separate entrance exam then you have to write the, that after clearing the entrance exam you have to undergo a viva os or uh, oral interview with the respective department if you select chemistry you have to have a panel of chemistry questions then if you go to pharmacology you will have a panel of pharmacology interview like that will be happening so in naipa that was a rule those days so first was my naipa concept so actually i myself and my father traveled to naipur actually my friend shankar also he was he was his ambition was to study in naipur that day especially sutix so his ambition was to study in naipur and he went to two days earlier to, to naipur and he was uh, actually he was also guiding me in particular aspects then one of my another classmate also came with me a female uh, because her father got not I think we are talking about uh, Naipur in Punjab. Am I correct? Yeah, Mohali, Mohali, Mohali. Naipur in Mohali. Because those days Naipur Mohali was only famous. I don't know whether about the other branches. I am talking about Naipur in Mohali, Chandigarh. That too, in from Chandigarh to Mohali, we had to travel forty minutes or something to reach the campus. But it was a beautiful campus, almost twenty uh, years back. Lot of equipments and uh, so good campus. Actually, by seeing the campus, I thought of having an interest to study in the campus. But I will tell you the story now. And we wrote and write a uh, wrote a night run night for entrance, and I got selected in that entrance because the result will be posted in 24 hours. So we waited and uh, we got selected. I was selected for opted for two things. One was for chemistry, and another was natural products. I got selected in chemistry, and my female uh, classmate also got selected in uh, natural products. My uh, Shankar was selected in pharmaceuticals. So again, we went to uh, three different interview panels. And the questions were not like our college. Or there were nearly eight to nine uh, professors were sitting from Mohali, Punjab, and they were shooting out the questions, and we are answering the viva questions, and everything went on well. All the three who went to the Naipur from my class got selected, and um, immediately my friend, uh, pharmaceutics friend, paid his fees and immediately joined. He returned back also. He was uh, finding out his sources, and uh, he started studying there itself. And my female friend, uh, what happened is, uh, due to her family circumstances, uh, there there also some um, they want doesn't want to send her to a long distance, so she dropped. And as usual, my granny told, okay, for your wish, father's wish, both of you went to Naipur, you got selected, and uh, you can proudly say you got selected. But you come back to Chennai and study in your 
some other college in Chennai. So that was her thing. And after coming back from Naipur, I received an interview call from Jadavpur and you are selected for the uh, former pharmacy, I think. And that was a call, interview letter I received. But I didn't turn up the letter also because I know the result from my grandmother. Simply she'll say it's you. So I stopped doing that. Then after again, I don't want to explore new colleges because my parent, B farm College, the sale paid also very good to me. And again, once again, my professor, Dr. Rangan helped me in getting a seat in uh, the college. And uh, those times, it's not like the 15 seats or 10 seats. Only three seats are available in uh, M-Farm Chemistry, five in Pharmaceutics, and uh, one one seat in Pharmacology, Cognacy, and other bra analysis branches. So my interest, as usual, I told, I relate my chemistry to cooking. I get into chemistry. So that's how my journey started in M-Farm. So to Dr. Satish. Yeah, great uh, to uh, know that uh, how you gone through the uh, gate exams and uh, how you cracked it and uh, it was very interesting. And uh, uh, regarding my uh, experience in B farm and uh, M farm were uh, uh, very uh, different because uh, till uh, my uh, schooling, I was the uh, only son for my parents and uh, they were taking care of me very, uh, very uh, uh, carefully and uh, they don't even allow to go to go for a uh, outside uh, ground playground for playing so in such a situation after completing my uh, plus two uh, directly i was uh, staying i was forced to stay in the hostel that was the uh, first important thing that i want to say that was my first hostel life away or uh, uh, even my in my relatives house i will stay one day or maximum of two days beyond that uh, they won't allow me to stay uh, you come here come here like that they will make a car but uh, even uh, that only the first time i'm staying for more than one week outside my home is uh, that hostel the pharmacy hostel so uh, that uh, that was the place was also very uh, uh, dry place that means uh, sivakasi might have heard about it uh, it was a uh, very uh, the content of sulfur will be very high in the uh, atmosphere and also a lot of uh, uh, dry situation prevails uh, even water won't be ground water won't be uh, good for uh, drinking very salty water and uh, all those things uh, uh, created a new experience for me it was an actually a, uh, i faced a lot of difficulty first thing is homesickness uh, second thing the place is very dry and uh, the only uh, support there was uh, my uh, father's friends uh, son uh, and uh, his friends that are they are my seniors uh, they uh, told don't worry we are there we will help you and uh, they will get me the books they will uh, give their old notes and uh, uh, where to take food everything they will uh, say a lot of guidance they had uh, uh, given me so uh, so only i could able to survive there to be frank uh, otherwise i might have uh, some of my friends are also uh, uh, left the hostel because uh, they could not able to uh, withstand the school difficulties. But because of my uh, father's friends, son, and uh, his friends, they had helped me a lot to uh, withstand that situation. They gave a moral support as well as uh, physically they uh, uh, given a lot of guidance for me to uh, go ahead all these uh, difficulties. Then regarding the studies, the college is very, very strict. The Sankar Lincoln Bhuvani Shri College of Pharmacy. Uh, they are very strict. I don't know. Uh, uh, I had not seen so far uh, any college those uh, uh, run very strictly like that. Even uh, in my school life also, I had not experienced such a, a strict uh, discipline and uh, uh, in both uh, activities uh, as well as uh, in uh, academics. In both parts, they will be very, very strict. So that was also a, uh, initially it was a stress for me. Later I accommodated and uh, it helped me a lot for uh, focusing uh, a lot on the studies otherwise if i had not uh, been there i might not have been uh, studied uh, this much carefully those subjects so that was the focus is only on the academics with clear discipline that is their policy that was a very good policy later i understood but initially it was a little bit tough for me to cope up with and later i understood that is a very good uh, system and uh, that made me a very uh, clear track in my academics and the teachers 
I want to specify about specifically a, a name also uh, by Dr. Baskar Rao. Actually, he was preparing for IAS exam and uh, he was taking physical pharmacy for me. He's a, 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 a sincere person. I have not, uh, uh, I cannot say I have not seen, but uh, uh, very, very sincere in all the aspects, particularly taking the class. He uh, believes that his class is complete only every student all 60 students in his class had understood the concept that is his uh, policy or that is his uh, mindset the class is complete means if a, a chapter is taken or if a topic is completed only if all the 60 students in his class understood the topic how he will make it means he will uh, repeatedly ask why was in the uh, end of the practicals one hour he will spend in the viva after completion of the experiments so each and every student will be probed like anything and forced to understand. If uh, he is not willing also, he must understand the uh, concepts of the physical pharmaceuticals. That was his uh, uh, way of uh, uh, imposing knowledge. So I like them very much because initially, as I told, initially it was that one or two days I felt tough. Then uh, I understood his uh, frequency and uh, not only myself, many of my friends understood his frequency. Okay, this is what he will wishes. This is the, what he want. So uh, he was uh, uh, really impressing me, and uh, uh, he one of the reasons why I am here now. So he uh, realized that, or he uh, uh, impressed upon me how a teacher should be. If he is entering into the class and completing a topic and coming out all the 60 students must have must be addressed with the topic definitely the last bit student or a, a, a slow learner whatever may be the thing everybody might have understood the topic that is what i want to say to the fellow colleagues and my uh, uh, upcoming teachers also that should be the mindset of everyone we should enter into a class we should uh, impress our uh, knowledge or transfer our knowledge completely to the students. In many cases, uh, now we are failing upon those things because we are saying that you have a ebook, you have a uh, mobile phone uh, animation, so many things we have. But beyond everything, this has to be the primary thing what we have to do from my point of view. So that what that's what uh, I understood from him, and then. As uh, already uh, Dr. Shanmugam has told, we have to pass all the subjects in every year to get a first class. That will be a very difficult task for uh, anybody else because if in any of the one year, if you failed in one subject, we we'll lose the first class. So again, uh, it was a very tough thing that I should uh, go through the max because in plus one and plus two, I have no touch with the max mathematics at all. And uh, again, in the before first year, I could able to clear it uh, because of uh, I got good teachers and uh, very focused uh, track in the academics. And another one important thing I wish to say is that uh, uh, the way the practical exams are conducted, it will be uh, in the first year in organic chemistry. Uh, I remember that was the first year exam practical exam that was the first practical exam i think uh, organic chemistry pharmaceutical organic chemistry practicals uh, in my batch uh, there were uh, 20 students and uh, at the end of the examination uh, the examiner had evaluated all the uh, it was salt analysis and almost he told that uh, out of 20 15 had failed it was shocking for me definitely I, I thought that i will be one among them and uh, they were evaluating how the salt separation was carried out how the salt separation it is a mixture of salt and the evaluator was the examiner was evaluating how this salt mixture was uh, separated after separating only we can go for analysis and uh, find out what is the salt so uh, he came to the place physically and asked me to show where is the separation where, where you carried out the separation show me the separated uh, liquids and the salts 
so after verifying that he made to fail 15 candidates out of 20 in my batch that was very shocking for me and uh, remaining all the four practical exams were really uh, uh, i had not slept at all i studied left to right all the pages of the record notebook uh, uh, theory book I, I really i am sleepless for that first year practical exam then okay i understood these are all the things we have to be aware and this is the way you have to travel this is the frequency you have to follow i understood the remaining three years had gone very well and uh, as my uh, father uh, I, it is very clear with him he don't want to send out of Tamil Nadu state so he uh, secured a seat uh, in uh, a private college in Trichy, Periyar College of Pharmaceutical Sciences. He secured a seat for me uh, before uh, getting the results itself. So uh, I do, had not taken the pain of writing the gate exam. Actually, I planned, but uh, as my uh, I am aware that uh, he is uh, securing a seat in uh, that college. Uh, so I could not able. To, I had not. Uh, there is no need arised for writing a. Ex, uh, get examination and thus i uh, joined in uh, my m pharmacy and in m pharmacy it is a thing when i am uh, entering into the campus only i know that uh, only uh, 12 male members will be there inside that campus because the name of the college itself was periyar college of pharmaceutical sciences for girls altogether only 12 boys will enter into that uh, campus remaining all thousands and thousands of girls together in that uh, school is there uh, pharmaceutical sciences, girls college, then arts college, teachers training, all these colleges are meant for girls only. Only for M farm, there will be a, a co-ed. Remaining all uh, are meant for only girls. So that was a different uh, environment for me. And uh, anyhow, uh, it also helped me a lot to understand the, uh, the mindset of those uh, people and uh, uh, that uh, also went very smoothly and a lot of uh, teachers helped me a lot uh, and uh, I particularly I want to say uh, Dr. Uh, Rukmani madam, she was a guide for me in the inform and uh, she only inculcated a, uh, an, a principle of doing research, how to do research, she only uh, taught me, for me uh, uh, I am uh, respectful and grateful uh, for her throughout my life because at that time uh, in 1998 i think uh, she took, given me a paper uh, taking a, with a, a title uh, nanoparticles a novel drug delivery system this was the topic of the paper and uh, when i showed to my friends uh, uh, how you are going to do this all this that uh, we are all going to prepare only tablet as a, a project hmm? we are going to do something else different uh, we don't know how to help you also so like that she had given a trending topic so it had really uh, helped me to uh, find a way in my research and uh, helped a lot so this is how i uh, done my uh, pg so with this i hand over the session to uh, dr shanmukh sundaram for uh, knowing more about uh, how the how he selected the profession of teaching whether uh, this is the ambition or it is a uh, choice or uh, uh, how he selected what is the uh, reason behind selecting the teaching as a profession i we all like to know that yeah thank you dr satish because uh, the viewers will be more uh, know about our career choice also rather than our schooling and college days we can continue uh, the same thing in bits and pieces in the uh, next week and other talk shows also continuing of our career things because listening to the same thought also will be a boring concept to the viewers as you rightly pointed out by selecting teaching in the academics was my choice actually though i had an opportunity to be in uh, different industries especially i was the, those times it was architect pharmaceuticals uh, i got a job because of my, uh, as I told, always my mentor, I had two mentors in my life. One is my father, he was my role model, and the other mentor is my doctor, Venkatraman Sarawar. Because he was be with me from B farm to PhD, and still he was uh, finding me a job in both, uh, actually in different places, in Medimix, as well as in Moral Pharmaceuticals, and in uh, Arctic Pharmaceuticals, because he was a consultant, and he was attached to different pharmaceuticals. 
my professor also is a formulator of the medimix cough syrup actually many may not be knowing that he is a, a person who formulated the medimix cough syrup and the new and and that is the new one 90 many may not be knowing now but new one 90 was very famous concept uh, by and my, and i also got a job in amutanjan and uh, because in amutanjan also my uh, professor was one of the consultant he was also doing some uh, herbal formulations in amutanjan so like those in different pharma industries uh, i got a job but uh, again my father wanted to be putting me to me into the industry side only but uh, i also attended few interviews interviews and mostly i got selected also but before joining what happened is i thought of uh, uh, because my dream always to be uh, uh, facilitated the students and uh, academics was my dream job and to promote because i was inspired by a lot of teachers in my from my school days to in my college days because if I, if you ask me to talk about my school teachers and professors i'll be keep on talking because i had very good teachers and uh, professors in my life so that that may be one of the reason which has inspired me for that job and uh, i come from a family of teacher actually my aunt who was a school teacher now she is she then she was a principal of different schools and still she is in the age of 67 or 66 she is continuing to be a honorary principal in, in a school in uh, uh, poneri so uh, my father was a though he was a librarian and uh, he also has to have a habit of taking classes to many competitive exams and uh, on saturday sundays he used to be a teacher to different competitive exams and he also take uh, classes in different brilliant tutorials and other places and uh, finally my father in the last 5 years of career he retired as a reader of uh, library science that is a professor associate professor of library science and uh, all these are in the background and uh, my actually my uh, how my father and my aunt has become a teacher is because of my grandmother because she was my grandmother was not that much uh, she studied only till 8 actually but in uh, she is from pandicherry and she she knows both french and uh, english and uh, tamil by a storytelling narrative aspect because from my childhood because i was a lonely child i was the only child of the family i used to spend more time with my grandmother she used to tell lot of stories not only uh, creative or uh, cartoon stories she used to tell me about the life stories and other things the way she narrates so where from where only my father also uh, inculcated that my aunt also inculcated the habit of teaching similarly i also inculcated the habit of narrating stories and uh, explaining to things from my grandmother she was a uh, really uh, she inspired for all this job though i got in different industries uh, my first job that to after m form i had a period of uh, six months or seven months before joining a phd program in university of madras i had a time i just uh, wanted to explore how is academics whether i am fit for that job so i went to anne valangani college and to the owner was there uh, just the owner interviewed me and he said just uh, it will be a part time job you have to come on sat uh, fridays and saturdays and you have to take classes and my first salary was 3000 rupees for that that was in uh, exactly in 2001 3000 was a big money actually because many full time teachers used to get uh, 5000 to 6000 in different colleges i was offered a 3000 rupees for a part time job that to for two days i was actually happy not for the salary but i got the job with a good salary that will be helping my family also in those times then i started uh, going to anevalangani college that was my first college where i had a very good interaction i start my love is always for the medicinal chemistry subject i opted for the medicinal chemistry structure subject and uh, started taking the classes to medicinal chemistry to the students and uh, then uh, the students also was uh, very friendly with me and uh, then i thought after 3 to 4 months i thought uh, that okay i am fit for the academic sessions and academic job from the school days itself i used to go to lot of uh, oratorical competitions and go to lot of presentation and i should uh, again thank my professor dr venkatraman because in bform itself he made me to go to do live experiments research experiments and uh, that experiments we, uh, i used to take to different conferences and i presented and i got the best prizes best world uh, or sorry uh, best world prize best awards yes like award and other things with all this in the background push me only to a teaching profession 
then i started uh, to go for annivalangani college after that again uh, after 6 months i couldn't proceed that because of my full time phd i was doing so again after full time phd then i will discuss later about the phd and other things so, so full time phd after completing i just i want to explore not only from tamil nadu at least i want to go to some other place out of tamil nadu to how the career of pharmacy is there how to so i thought before getting married in a bachelor life so uh, at least i need to go to some other place and explore the same career academic career as a profession i first i told my grand grandmother if i get a job please allow me to go to whichever place in india for at least 6 months to 1 year definitely i'll get back to that so then i applied for a college uh, in uh, just seeing a paper ad it was aim ready memorial college of pharmacy that was a very new or an upcoming college they only started the first year of pharmacy over there uh, similarly the owner just gave me a phone interview from uh, it was in nasar pet andhra very near close to guntur just uh, he called me and we have started a new college and it's going to be the first year of the college whether you'll be able to come and uh, join us uh, uh, uh assistant professor over there i just said okay i'll come and join then uh, that's how a full time career in uh, my life started from andhra actually then after that i was uh, pulled pulled back to chennai by my father and uh, he only applied in wales and uh, then i had another interview in wales all these stories uh, will be discussing in later sessions because almost one hour uh, today we are running on session so how dr sarish got into teaching we will we'll be talking in another two to three minutes then we'll wind up for today's show and I'll, as a closing note i will tell what will be for the next show thank you okay it's already one hour as you told one to one hour is over uh, uh, i don't felt it is a uh, about one hour yeah, it was very lively that uh, we two are talking maybe the audience also would be liking our uh, things they also would have experienced similar uh, things in their life both the, okay so i want to say very shortly because of the lot of time uh, actually uh, after completion of my m pharmacy uh, still after completion of m pharm i had not received the convocation certificate from my uh, previous b pharm college so after completion of uh, m pharm and uh, getting the mark list i thought of going to the my old college for collecting the uh, convocation certificate in, in those days it will be sent to that the old college only that uh, where we studied uh, your undergraduate there only we have to collect the convocation certificate that was the procedure uh, followed by dr m jar medical university so one day i uh, one fine morning monday it seems yeah on monday one monday i had uh, planned to go to uh, that uh, old college on that day uh, when i entered in the college uh, my old max teacher that is in the first year b pharm he taught me mathematics so he asked me how you came about uh, interview is going on how you came for the interview uh, whether you already applied like that he asked i told no 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 i had not came for interview for a teaching post i came for uh, collecting the convocation certificate um, when i called uh, two weeks back uh, they told that it is available and you can come and collect so for that purpose only i came i never came for an uh, interview uh, for any post like that i told no no you why don't you attend the uh, uh, interview he asked i told uh, no i am not uh, thinking on that direction particularly working on the college where i studied the b pharm i know it's a very strict college so i never thought of uh, that point anyhow immediately uh, the principal of that uh, college at the time dr uh, sriram he came out and uh, told me he just met me uh, you can you complete the m pharm no why don't you uh, uh, attend the interview hey, come on you attend the, write the name fill up the application and give me i will include your name in the at least like that he told just i made a phone call from uh, the landline outside and asked my father whether uh, i can join in this college uh, shall i apply for this uh, uh, post uh, today interview is there he very anxiously told yes 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 immediately apply i will be very happy if you could uh, get a, a teaching position in the same college it's an uh, uh, what uh, impressive thing that uh, working in a college where you studied so just i filled the application and uh, i had not prepared anything specifically for uh, attending the interview there was a uh, model class we have to take a model class and all the students uh, one set of students 60 students will be there to evaluate us is it not only the uh, that the college procedure is not only the management and the principal will evaluate 
all the students will of the attended that class will give the feedback and they have to based upon that marks only the selection will be carried out so uh, there were about uh, 28 uh, people persons uh, in that uh, panel in that uh, interview list and i was the 29th person to add on and uh, after it went up to the up to three o'clock to complete the interview and i came back to home the next day itself uh, the college principal called me and told that uh, you are selected uh, you can uh, come and join immediately uh, i told that uh, that was uh, i think in uh, march or, a, or yeah march so that uh, tomorrow itself we can come and join because the classes will go up to uh, may there okay i immediately i went and joined that is for how i joined as a lecturer At that time i had uh, been appointed as a lecturer in pharmacy because as per the pharmacy council of india uh, regulations at the time there was an posting called as lecturer so freshers will be appointed as lecturer then only they will be uh, elevated to the assistant professor post this is how i joined in sb college of pharmacy the place where i study b farm there itself i could able to work as a teacher for about seven years that's not how i started my career so the remaining we'll uh, talk in the next uh, session yes. and uh, uh, over to Shanmusandram for further uh, information. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, I should thank the Facebook and StreamYard because uh, this uh, Facebook, uh, I was, uh, I'm a member in Facebook posting different things uh, in Facebook for past 10 years. For that, for, for Facebook also, I have a mentor that is um, uh, Dr. A.S.K. Shankar, who was a faculty in Wales that time, now he's working in Mel Maroto. He only told me how to get into Facebook and how to post videos and uh, uh, photos and other things. He was my mentor for Facebook. But uh, this lockdown has made us to explore new things in Facebook, what we can be done in Facebook. So how we can do some live streaming. Actually, we are, we are trying uh, live streaming and other things for online classes to reach out to students. And finally, we, uh, we are doing that successfully, actually. But uh, not via Facebook, we are doing to other Google platforms. But uh, while exploring this, uh, both myself and Dr. Satish has found out that why we should not go live and talk about our career and uh, career of other uh, pharmacists and other people's uh, successful career journeys so that the people will understand what is a pharma profession is all about, how positive it is, how you can be a uh, very good uh, have a career in pharmacy and you can be a successful people in pharmacy. So those, for that concept only we have started and uh, to celebrate uh, as he told our uh, 10 years of friendship and Wales we named ourselves, christened ourselves as Pharma Duos and we will be uh, going doing a lot of things under this uh, name as Pharma Duos. This is the brand which we created on our own and uh, many also like this uh, name as Duos and many had an expectation of this program, what we are going to do, what we are going to talk. Our motive is not to bore the audience with our uh, old stories alone but to uh, make the stories more lively because the uh, journey of 25 years is not going to be always smooth and easy. Today we uh, spoke about the post total positive side of it. There are negatives and positives in the journey, in both in the college career as well as in the academic career. So from next episode onwards, what we'll be doing is we'll be talking only for 5 to 10 minutes, each of them, and we'll be inviting few guests. So the guests will be, initially we want to start with the younger uh, guests from the pharma profession who are successful and uh, in the industries, in uh, marketing, in other uh, profession of pharmacy, maybe in uh, the drug inspectors, uh, pharmacovigilance and other areas. So to start with the youngsters, that will give a very good impression towards the career to the people. Then we'll be inviting our senior friends and senior professors and uh, other personalities. And finally, uh, actually our dream is to call uh, Dr. B. Suresh, the president of Pharmacy Council, to have a showstopper show. That is showstopper actually is in any fashion show or any show, the showstopper has more value. So our dream is to have Pharmacy Council President to have a showstopper when we end this show. Maybe we want to continue to do show on uh, mostly on all Sundays uh, if the Facebook and StreamYard permits us to do that job because this is a platform we are doing it free platform. So if both the Facebook and the StreamYard continues and uh, We'll be doing inviting guests on every Sundays and one or two guests, they'll be sharing their experiences. Their yeah, I want to say one more thing, sir. Actually, if uh, somebody is seeing this show and if they are interested to participate in this show, they can uh, 
contact us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, they can uh, post in the comment section as well as they can uh, give a personal call to us by WhatsApp or something. So, any friends, any Facebook friends, or any pharma friends from different parts of the country, not only in Chennai or Tamil Nadu, all over the country, they are welcome because. Uh, we are having a lot of Facebook, both myself and Dr. Satish is having a lot of Facebook friends related to pharma and non-pharma. So the pharma friends are most welcome to our show. They can give the request and, uh, and we'll be inviting them to the show because this show can hold up to six persons on the same day. So two two persons for 10 minutes or 15 minutes will be inviting and giving a uh, small, small uh, their experiences, their talks and other things. That is the motive only to have a friendly casual talk show nothing promotional activities or something on this this is only a personal hobby and personal platform to start with so i see actually i am eager because we are not seeing the live video what how we are talking we are seeing only the screen of the computer maybe after the broadcast is ending the facebook will be posting the video the audience is the most uh, awaited thing we want to see and scroll and see what the facebook what comments are yes, actually when the name uh, we kept the uh, format doers many are asking what is this because uh, we, they know many of us know because myself and dr sajis are very much thick friends and we used to travel on the same path when we come to academics we used to have a lot of debates but finally we end up in the same uh, Place for each and everything. So similarly, we also uh, ended up with this. And initially, when I told that we'll go live, then again we had a debate where to go, which platform to go, whether to go for YouTube or Facebook or Streamyard or OBS. A lot of things we discussed. And uh, you would have also seen some of the testing videos we've done with Facebook. And uh, actually, that testing videos uh, was not uh, that good because we were testing live, but. And we want it to make it, it will work or not. We don't know whether it will work or, it will work or not. That is the thing. After posting how the video will look, all these we are testing. Many of my friends also ask what this video says, what for you are doing this and that. So, but uh, still uh, I am not able to explore one option because when I am testing, the comment section was uh, live, but today the comment section was hidden. Again, uh, we have to uh, explore what why does the live comment session is hidden now, but we have gone wrong. All this will be rectified. We'll be coming back shortly in the next week on the April because season one will be a former journey for nearly 10 to 15 episodes every Sunday, probably on the same time with the guest, with the youngsters and other guests. And season two will continue with the different uh, topics like this. We have planned until the Facebook and the other media is helping us to do this. So it is going to be a casual talk show. So with this note, any, any pharma professional can participate and uh, share. Can participate and they can give ideas how to take up the show. That is also very important because yes. many of the uh, this is our uh, this is our idea. So this is not a uh, any official platform we are doing. We are doing on a personal platform. That I want to make it clear. We are, though we are attached to some uh, university and other things. We are not doing it on a official platform. Uh, doing it on our personal platform you can see i am wearing a t-shirt and he's wearing a normal shirt and <laughs> so they want to make it as a casual platform and we are talking from our homes and uh, by which we want to grab a lot of attention to the public about the pharma field so with yes. this note yes. I, up, I am signing out dr sandra sundar for today and uh, we'll get back to you yes. soon and uh, we'll get we'll try to and as i said a uh, lot of farmers of promotion pharma professionals can give us ideas how to take up these shows because they are going and watching and they are participating and doing a lot of similar type of activities in different formats. So they are very good seniors, very good senior friends and younger friends are available. Younger friends can guide us in the technology because always I believe to learn from my students because the students are more younger than us because we are 40 years old. The 20 years mind is more towards technology. The technology people can teach us. My students can teach me. They can become a teacher for me in this particular aspect because I'll teach pharmacy. They can teach me technology. So with this note, I'll sign off and go to Dr. Sadish to sign off. Okay. I wish you the same. Uh, I hope that we have not bored you a lot. Uh, we might have enjoyed our uh, talk. And uh, with in the forthcoming uh, sessions, we'll be enjoying more with more number of uh, pharma professionals. Uh, and I hope many will come forward to uh, uh, participate in this show and uh, wish you all the best sir. thank you bye thank you good night for today meet you good on night. next time bye bye